And hey guys, it's me, Tuck. Welcome back to some more Bomberman Land Wii. In the last episode, we started on the final round in our amazing clown outfit. And in this episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of multiplayer to finish off our final round since we have two tokens left to spare. And we're honestly not that... We, we were tied with Bombpire in the last round, so I'm going to play it safe and just keep on rolling with minigames. But first, let's take a quick glance around here to see if there's any more people we can talk to. Have we talked to you yet, Noodle Bomber? Yes, we have. Okay then, so let's go over here. There's probably nobody. Okay, one person, Captain, the Reindeer, and Mexican Bomber and Cute Pink. Okay. Alright then, let's find people. Bookworm Green's good. Oh, yeah, search party. Okay, never mind, there is new stuff I get to show off in this video. This is good. Capo Bomber's good at this, by the way. Which we are going to face him. Let's face Capo Bomber. In a nice game of Search Party. And I haven't explained this yet, because it's a new minigame. And I was wanting to... Um, be able to show you all this minigame. So it's good. My name's Beach Sumo Fan, but for some reason everyone calls me Capo Bomber. You're awesome. So you're Tuck, aka Cowboy Sprinter. Dressed up as a clown, let's give it our best shot. He even wears a cucumber. Capo Bomber is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So anyways, we're standing on these little lifeguard thing and blah 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 or whatever. And um in this game, you search for all the bomber men in the pool trying to find a certain one. You try to find the bomber men shown in the circle in the middle of the screen there in the black, and move the cursor around pretty much to move your cursor like any typical... It's like on the Wii menu, okay? I'm just just trying to narrow it down here. Anyways, pointless blabbering aside, when you find the bomber you want to select, move your cursor over them and press the A button. Apparently they're all dudes. And if you get it right, the remaining time is added to your score. Once all the sets are over, the player with the highest score wins. Which apparently this person was facing Bombpire. Um, there are five rounds also, I don't think that mentioned it. Honestly, I probably could have read over it. But, um, this minigame is very fun, also very easy. Like, Capo Bomber's A rank, and I'm pretty sure you all could find the bomber out of this selection thing within the time of the A rank person. So, yeah. And I always do that. I, I always did this while I was waiting, putting my cursor over the blue ones to, like, merge it together or hide it. Which is very random, I know, but still. And basically, it's straightforward, but I love this minigame so much. It's, I don't, I just don't know why, but I find it so much fun. Honestly, I have no clue. But we did get, um, 10 zone pieces, which makes me wonder, if I'm facing a B rank, would I get the pieces? I don't know, we'll find out. Um, uh, I... Oh, never mind. I'm too shy to talk to strangers. That's pretty much everyone in here, then. Excluding me, of course, because we're awesome. We talked to Kappa Bomber, obviously. We are currently ranked up num to number one, which I guess we'll do one more. We're probably not going to get tokens for this, though, because it is going to be B rank. Um, but we'll face Inuit Bomber, since we've already faced Kid Bookworm Green, whatever, and everything else. So, let's face Inuit Bomber. Look at Bombpire, did you see his eyes? Freaking red. That's kind of creepy. I never noticed those. I noticed those in the tournament, but now that they're even closer up, that's kind of creepier. Oh well. I'm one who hates heat, but everyone calls me Inuit Bomber. Go easy on me now, okay, Tuck? AKA Cowboy Sprinter. Now, if she hates heat, why is she dressed warmly for an occasion like that? Just saying. Makes no sense. You search around, Inuit Palmer. <clears throat> so we've already explained everything, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. We might not even get pieces for this, but I guess it's just a time to chill around, I guess. And my throat it has a little irritatingness to it right now. <clears throat> it's been like that all day for me. Don't you ever hate it when you get like a sore throat and you think you get sick? But then the sore throat, throat's gone, like, a day after that. That's happened to me so far, and it's super, super annoying. 
See, it's preventing me from speaking. I have to take a drink of tea while I play this mini game. Absolutely dreadful. And we win on the Christmas looking bomber person. But yeah. Oh, we get seven pieces anyways. That's good. And we get a nice even 180. You're probably burning hot now after that mini game, aren't you, Anyway, Bomber? So sorry, I was only stopping by for a moment. Or, I'm only stopping by for a moment. What the heck is that? That's not a good way to say your final battle speech. Oh well, let's end it off right here, to be honest. Kid okay, it won't let us. That's cool. You're cool, staff member. Making me go all the way back. Almost slicing my head off. But like I said, relatively short video since we're already done with everything. All we have to do is just head back here and talk to what's her face, see our results, and dance with the dancing queen. Gather round the big screen. Jeez, all my crap is everywhere. I have a book that I'm currently reading for a club at my school, because it's mandatory for me to be in clubs on my bed. House coats on the bed, 3DS, laptop, wallet, cell phone. Wii Remote and Remote are like close to me, because I always have to try to sync the volume together, and I always turn up the volume on the TV so I can get into my headset, so I can merge it in with the recording when I go and edit it. And I think... Uh, please tell me that other people do that to sync it up, because if not, then that's pretty awkward of me to say that right now. But anyways, let's see who gets promoted. Only the groupie. Except for cute pink. I forgot about that. She does not get promoted, and we do not get to see her after this. I totally forgot about that, too. She does not get promoted here, Just, just so you know. Anyways, the final ranking results for the Diamond Zone have us ranked at number one. Da 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 da. I probably ruined that for you all. <laughs> Congratulations, we've been promoted. And we get the feather headdress for taking first place. No. Native Landian Top. Landian. What? I never remembered it being named that. Oh well. And Moccasins. No, for none of those, because we're going to try to find a different outfit other than that. Possibly we will wear an Indian outfit. Just saying. But um, for now, we're just going to chill here. I definitely have more off-screen stuff to do now, so look forward to that in the next episode. Um, and there's probably more stuff in the shopping unlock, too. Congratulations on making it to the Star Zone. Let's celebrate with a dance party. Who will be the dancing who will win the Dancing Queen's Heart? Probably us again. And here she is once again. I'm going to choose my dance partner this time. Please give me your very best performance. Which it's us again, so we get to dance with her in our nice little clown costume. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and the dancing music has changed again, so I'll be shut. I'll shut up for a minute. This is kind of like my favorite one, to be honest. I don't really know why, but I just enjoy the sound of this one. I guess I, I don't know, honestly. But um, if you can tell, Q Pink is gone from the crowd, and if you look at the left back there, at that purple dude in sunglasses, who is that? Well. We'll find out soon enough, but um, I just now noticed that that dude was in the crowd. That's kind of creepy though, they're just creeping there. <laughs> well. You and I were dancing as one. I choose you to be my partner, even though the dance is over. Sweet. And she kisses our clown makeup on her face. Maybe the dancing queen's partner, but that doesn't have anything to do with who with who's gonna be champion. I had it right the first time. He never shuts up about being champion. Shut up, cool black. Mexican man. Hey, that's the Big Bomber Burger from my dad's company, Gold Foods. Nice voice change. <laughs> I ate three of them at Big Burger, Big Bomber Burger eating contest and won. 
at a big... I can't even speak. I'm ruining this for you all. Well, that's certainly a bit of news. I ate all three in under a minute. I thought I was going to explode. Now that's a bomb reference. Hmm. You won with only three? I could have made a little... It must have been a little kitty contest then. I could scarf down about 50 of them easily and win world class. <laughs> I jest, of course. Ah ha ha ha. And then she runs off. She's so random. Fifty of them easily must be some kind of code. Obviously, that you don't get, because you're dumb. So anyways, Star Zone is open, and we need to save. Colorful Speed Fiend. <laughs> yes. What the heck? Oh well. Um, I'm going to save in a third slot this time, because this isn't uploaded. And I don't want to risk anything, so, yeah. This will be the emergency file. Actually, I probably should have moved it down here. Oh well, this is the emergency file. No, lady, there's nothing else you can do for me. So in the next episode, we'll be starting Star Zone. Um, I hope you'll enjoy this little Halloween special. I'm sorry it came a little late, but blame my computer for being a flaming douchebag. So, anyways, I, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, it was kind of a last second thing, but, you know, in the end, I guess it kind of worked out. And, um, now it's November, so I hope you'll have a great November, um, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a good time with that. Um, I know that tomorrow, okay, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow, isn't it, um, the Day of the Dead for Halloween? We're celebrating that at my school today, my Spanish class. Um... So if any of you celebrate that, um, I hope you have a good time with that. Uh, for any of those who celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you can prepare nice for that, even though it's far off. And basically, just I hope you all have a good whatever you have going on right now. And um, in the next episode, we will start Star Zone. So thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.